For this problem, we're going to multiply these decimals. So I'm going to start by writing down uh, the bigger number up top like this, 1.002. And then I'll write down the 03 down here and just put the decimal here. So whenever you're multiplying decimals, um, you do this, right? you line up the numbers. Don't worry about lining up the decimals. Instead, you just do the multiplication like you normally do, and we'll do it in a minute. And the answer in this case is going to have five decimal places. How do I know that? Because here there's two, and here there's three decimal places. So if you add them up, we get five decimal places. That's always the case, okay? Basically, you just take the decimal places from each one, and then the total is how many you're gonna have. All right, let's do the math. So now we just multiply. Three times two is six. Boom. Three times zero is zero. Boom. Three times zero is zero. Boom. Three times one is three. I don't know why I'm saying boom. <laughs> then we go to zero. Zero times two is zero. You write it here, right? You write it underneath. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times one is zero. This is really easy. It's all zeros. Then you put a plus sign. You can put another zero if you want. <laughs> six plus zero is six. Zero, zero, three, zero. And how many decimals do we have? We have five decimal places. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have point zero, three, zero, zero, six. That would be our answer. That's a lot of zeros. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.